Hello there, this uh, Dave the Diver video is going to be my short version of my full guide which covered everything including what's going to be in here but it took 45 minutes to cover everything in this game. Uh, this one here is going to be a lot shorter and focused on money making which is you know the most important thing. So money making in the fish farms and uh, possibly the weapon upgrades and stuff like that too. Uh, just a quick you know rundown version of the stuff to maximize your profits in this game and that's the do's and the don'ts of your stuff on there. So let's go over the don'ts right away because we have the phone app. So so we go over here to the phone app and the don'ts in this game is don't rank up past gold stay at gold for your maximum rank excuse me and don't go to platinum don't go to diamond platinum is going to cost you two thousand a night and diamond is going to cost you four thousand a night in operating costs it's going to kill your profits the extra seats and customers you get is not going to be worth it so just don't do that until you have all the upgrades done so be aware of that and the weapon upgrades you're going to want to get is going to be um just a quick thing here is going to be your underwater rifle you're going to want to upgrade that one first up to your tranquilizer so you can take out the big fish and put them to sleep easily with the extra ammo and then you're going to want to upgrade the gun later on to another you know make another gun and upgrade it to the death rifle with his instant KO chance killing the big guys is really nice and it'll have the most ammo in the magazine type of there for that gun right there the other guns of note is going to be the net launcher killing you know capturing all those small fish nice and easily in the schools very handy and of course you're going to want to get you know your priority is going to be your little uh, your your your, uh, your dark gun right here to knock guys out because the last upgrade is going to knock out the big guys one guy's going to go out in half a, you know one point you know 0 0.1 seconds they're done and two shots you double tap them and the big guys are going to be put to sleep so you can capture them away and all that kind of stuff so let's go to the bar and how to maximize your profits selling stuff on, on the shop doesn't really maximize your profits at all and you might need these items later on for your weapon upgrades and all that kind of stuff and the other you know place might have a better value for selling them uh, for their, their currency that you might want to do for farming uh, their seaweed and stuff like that that you can do and those items you want to buy for upgrades because they're expensive uh, to buy and you might not want to spend a bunch of time farming and farming them all on those different locations and stuff like that so here we go staff is important make sure your staff members have enough service to actually serve the guys fast enough so you actually don't have you know people run, running out at you because uh, Dave is very slow even if he's running he's just a big fat guy he's really slow I don't know what he's doing but anyways let's go over to the menu items so yeah the menu items is really simple to do you only have a certain number of seats based on your rank uh, don't go up to the other ones there because it's not gonna be worthwhile but yeah the easiest way to do that is to pick a food and sort it by price and pick the highest level of food that you have uh, a lot of that can cover it like like right now I can get up to 50 customers but I'm only seeing like 45 because it's weird at platinum I shouldn't have even upgraded that but I wanted to try it out for, for a couple times but yeah you take the one with the highest gold value the lowest the second number here doesn't matter that's for tips the taste is basically for likes and tips uh, which doesn't really help you out at all for money uh, whatsoever uh, after testing it out if it's such a minor difference it was, wasn't worthwhile and this I tried I tested it out multiple times with the same value of food with higher taste and it didn't do anything type thing and all that kind of stuff even like I went back and forth don't worry about it uh, so you yeah, your, your best foods are gonna be the ones that have the highest gold value that you can actually afford to do save your best uh, your boss level food for events because uh, the events are going to you know the last day of the event you're going to have this little purple symbol right there that's going to tell you that hey, that's the food for the event and then the last day they're going to give you bonus money at least 10 customers so usually it's usually about 10 are going to demand that stuff if they don't get it they walk out of the restaurant and don't eat anything so you have no money and then no bonus cash at the end of the day which is what you're going to want to aim for uh, on that for your recipes and stuff like that but other than that go with that if you're looking for like the best food in the game I think uh, that I that I have unlocked so far for myself would be the multiple farming one right here. Uh, I don't have it leveled up. I could level up some more and up to 800, which beats uh, almost beats that one there at level four and level up again. But yeah, because it uses because in the uh, sea people farm you can farm this kelp and the farm you can farm wheat and then you get eggs from the farm too and then you can fish farm these guys up and this one here serves eight. So each one of these meals serves eight people. And, and you could do the math from there. So that's the number you got to be, you know, watch out for. Other than that, if I wanted to, you know, not use this right now because of my minimum ingredients and the work it will take to actually farm this stuff, I could just go over here and go over here. And the easiest way to do it is just, you know, put one in there. Just that, that's it. Just put one and stick it on auto supply. You stick it on auto supply, and it will automatically feed all your customers. And at the end of the day, you're only, you're only going to waste one food. And that beats, you know, memorizing how much customers you're going to have and stuff like that. But you can. 
you can must it's a set number uh, that you're going to have for your customer. I forget what it is for gold. I think gold might be 28, but it could be it could be less uh, than that. And uh, you know the I know I know the uh, the platinum is, is 36, so I was stuck out there and I was just, oh, just a stupid move doing that. That 2K operating costs. I uh, don't do that. All the other stuff on there it says you know you can sell your ingredients and stuff like that. Don't sell your ingredients. The seasoning isn't worth it. The plants and stuff like that are less than what it costs to farm uh, and all that kind of stuff. So none of these things are going to be worth it. Uh, selling your food isn't going to be worth it either. It's better to go like if I have all this food here, I can sell this for 8K, but um, using the restaurant food, I'm going to make a lot more money off of this. And you're going to want to keep your lower rank food for your branch manager right there. So once you get a branch, she's going to have food automatically and she can't do the higher rank stuff at the start. You've got to level them up. So you're going to start off with only rank one food that you can get. And, and so you're going to have to need those lower level cheap fish that you have. And some of the recipes on here, the specialized recipes are going to use multiple fish and they might use some of the older fish. So yeah, don't sell out on your lower level fish because you don't want to go back and farm this stuff later on uh, and that kind of stuff. So let's go over the fish farm. The last little thing on right there, pretty easy tips. It's a good money making thing to do. So it is worthwhile and investing into it because you get real results um, pretty quickly on there. So yeah, even though the upgrades cost, you know, uh, up to a thousand per upgrade and you have to upgrade it like five times or something like that. But a uh, simple stuff like, you know, over here on this guy here, I got like six vampire shrimp and I got six of these guys too. These guys keep breeding six. It's kind of really buggy. They were higher because their sell value was 200 a pop for those guys. So yeah, you know, but if I get like, you know, just six of these guys and I sell them off, you know, basically, I'm getting like 1,200 a day worth of meat, basically, that I could, you know, sell, sell, I send, you know, send this off to the other guy and, uh, you know, you know, sell that for even more profit. But yeah, all this stuff there. Don't worry about farming the big fish. You can if you want to. Uh, the value might be the same. Like, I, I mean, eventually, I might get up to a little bit higher in these guys. I might get two of them and they'll be like, you know, class B. So I'm not making any really money off of these guys, uh, but it might be worthwhile just to save yourself some farming time off the big fish right here. Like, right now, I'm only getting one. I have to rebreed these guys up higher to get two uh, basically to start getting two of these guys but if you only get one guy I'm only getting like 11 uh, you know I'm only getting a, a couple meat here like five meat that's not worth it's not worth it you get 27 if you bring them up and stuff like that what you want to farm is the small and tiny guys uh, which is these guys right here so this guy here I could sell for 75 he's only rank five uh, type of thing but I can sell him for like you know you know 75 each and I can start if I pump these guys out a lot uh, like I had before like I was getting like 20 or so a day basically uh, and I wasn't trying because I was mixing and mashing. I was doing like two of everything and uh, up to 10 of everything. And these guys here, I might get I get four a day basically. And four a day at max is going to be 800 profit and uh, money basically. So I can make 800 a day off these guys or I could get a whole bunch, 20 of these smaller fish or more and then make more money off the smaller ones. So it's just going to be this tiny and the small fish you're going to want to do for your farming and stuff like that. And trying to get all the uh, big fish like right here is not really helpful. So I might get like four of these guys a day and uh, four of these guys a day is, you know, Know. and of course they're going to be two star most of the time is only 800 but yeah you still you can get you can grab these guys earlier on and start making some money off your fish farm with the breeding going on there just keep your density under the red level so they can breed and you keep it up as high as possible basically keep it under the red and you have to manage it every day and sell your fish in the morning uh, or move them to your base base I move them to my base I don't sell them I, I move them over there so I can use them uh, later on but if you're desperate you can start selling the you can start selling your meat because it's the same price but that is it that's my tips for today on all this all on the stuff there's no like cheap way to do it. Just get the fish with the highest value and then, uh, you know, sell them in the restaurant and then uh, keep it, keep it up. If you're desperate, sell the rest of them, uh, that type of thing. But that's it for today. Thanks for watching and I will uh, see you later.